हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू शेक हैंड विथ लाइफ आई एम नरेंद्र शर्मा इन माय प्रीवियस वीडियोस आई डे एक्सप्लेन यू हाउ वन कुड एक्सेप्ट और रिजेक्ट ए नल हाइपोथेसिस यूजिंग जेड टेस्ट फॉर ए गिवन वैल्यू ऑफ पॉपुलेशन मीन द लिंक्स ऑफ दीज वीडियोस आर गिवन इन द आई मार्क अब एंड इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बिलो नाउ हेयर इन दिस वीडियो you will study how one can accept or reject a null hypothesis using t test for a given value of population mean so stay with me till the end of this video and now before we move in this video make sure that you have subscribed shake hand with life youtube channel and press the bell to receive notifications of my latest videos first study the t test conditions for testing a null hypothesis for a given value of population mean the t test can be used when the population is normal sample size is small less than 30 population standard deviation is unknown note that the population standard deviation is unknown but sample standard deviation is known or can be calculated from the given sample data now come to the test statistic used for t test the test statistic is given by the equation t equal to x bar minus mu not in the numerator and sigma s divided by square root of n in the denominator with degrees of freedom equal to n minus 1 here x bar is the sample mean and mu not is the claimed value of the population mean that gives the maximum benefit of doubt to the null hypothesis for example if the null hypothesis stated as h not such that mu greater than or equal to 1000 then you can use the value of 1000 in place of mu not in the equation for calculating t here sigma s is the sample standard deviation and n is the sample size the degrees of freedom can be calculated as if n equal to 20 for example then the degrees of freedom will be n minus 1 equal to 20 minus 1 equal to 19 in case the sample standard deviation is not given then it can be calculated using the formula sigma s is equal to square root of sum of squared deviations of each sample value of xi from the sample mean x bar divided by n minus 1 i'll show you later in this video how one can calculate the sample standard deviation using this formula now if you compare the z test and t test conditions to test a null hypothesis for a given value of population mean then you will find that the population mean is normal in both cases and if you see the sample size then it may be large or small in case of z test but in case of t test the sample size is small that is less than 30 and if talk about the population standard deviation then in case of z test sigma p that means the population standard deviation is known but in case of t test the population standard deviation sigma p is unknown now to conclude that the null hypothesis should accept or reject you need to process the test statistic by replacing the given parameters in the test statistic equation and find the t value and then find the critical value for the given significance level most of the time it is 5% against the degrees of freedom from the t distribution table compare the calculated value of t with the critical value of t if the calculated value of t is less than the critical value of t then accept the null hypothesis and if the calculated value of t comes out greater than the critical value of t then reject the null hypothesis now to better understand the application of t test in a hypothesis testing for a given value of population mean we take a practical problem and draw the conclusion 
for a given value of population mean using t test so the problem is a restaurant near the railway station has been having average sales of 500 tea cups daily because of the development of the bus stand nearby it expects to increase its sales during first 12 days after the start of the bus stand the data of daily sales given as 550 570 490 655 550 580 550 550 that the sales have increased first note down the parameters given in the problem here the average sales before the start of the bus stand is 500 teacups per day which is the claimed population mean or mu naught the sample data of the start of the bus stand as daily sales of first 12 days in teacups per day given as 550, 570, 490, 615, 505, 580, 570, 460, 600, 580, 530 and 526. And the significance level or the alpha is 5%. It means there is a 5% chances you could reject the null hypothesis when it is true. And finally, you need to conclude that the average sales T cups per day increased or the average sales will be more than 500 teacups per day now state the null and alternative hypothesis such as h naught such that mu equal to 500 teacups per day it implies the average sales as 500 teacups per day will continue after the start of the bus stand and h a such that mu greater than 500 teacups per day it implies the average sales after the start of the bus stand will increase from 500 teacups per day. Here the HA is one sided and greater than type. Such as the population mean mu is greater than 500 teacups per day. So it's a right tailed test condition. Here in this problem the population standard deviation is not given. And the sample size is small that is less than 30. Therefore you need to use the t statistic in this case which is given by the equation t equal to x bar minus mu naught in the numerator and sigma s divided by square root of n in the denominator now before processing the t statistic you need to calculate the sample mean and sample standard deviation from the given sample data of daily sales in form of t cups per day after the start of the bus stand for 12 days now here is the method using which you can calculate the sample mean or x bar and the sample standard deviation sigma s in the first column number of days are given in the second column daily sales of teacups is given you can calculate the sample average as the sum of daily sales divided by the number of days given by x bar equal to sigma xi divided by n and it comes out as 548 teacups per day now to calculate the standard deviation subtract the x bar from each xi shown in the third column given by xi minus x bar and then find the square of each value in the fourth column given by the whole square of xi minus x bar now find the sum of the values of fourth column given by the sigma whole square of xi minus x bar and it comes out as 23,978. Now put the values of sigma whole square of xi minus x bar and n in the equation sigma s equal to square root of sigma whole square of xi minus x bar divided by n minus 1. Now solve the equation and find the sample standard deviation 
which comes out as 46.69. Now calculate the T value. By replacing the value of x bar and mu naught in the numerator and sigma s and n in the denominator in the T statistic. The sample mean x bar is 548 and the claimed population mean mu naught is 500. The sample standard deviation sigma s is 46.69 and the sample size n is 12. Solve the equation and the t value comes out as 3.56. Now as the sample size n is 12. Therefore degrees of freedom is 12 minus 1 equal to 11. Here h a is greater than type. Hence, it's a right-tailed condition. Now, using T distribution table at an alpha of 5% or under T 0.05 against 11 degrees of freedom, the critical value of T is 1.796. Now, compare the calculated value of T with the critical value of T. The calculated value of T is 3.56 is greater than the critical value of T, which is 1.796. Hence, the null hypothesis is rejected. Therefore, from the t-test, the calculated value of t is greater than the critical value of t at an alpha of 5% for 11 degrees of freedom. And therefore, the null hypothesis which states as h naught such that mu equal to 500 t cups per day, which implies the average sales as 500 t cups per day will continue after the start of the bus stand will be rejected and alternatively it implies the average sales will increase from 500 tea cups per day and therefore the restaurant will require to arrange the resources like quantity of tea, quantity of milk, quantity of sugar, gas etc. to compensate the increased demand of average sales of tea cups per day after the start of the bus stand. That's all in this video. If you have any question or suggestions, then please do write your feedback in the comment box below. Hit the like button and share this video with your friends and colleagues. Switch to Shake Hand with Life YouTube channel for more videos. Subscribe it and press the bell to receive notifications of my latest videos. Visit shakehandwithlife.in to download the course notes and ebooks in PDF. See you soon in my next video. Bye for now.